Hola, hola, hola. Hello, beautiful. Buenas tardes. Good evening. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, La Planning Diva. And thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. I'm so excited to share this video with you all. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you a stationery haul. Um, I picked up a lot of goodies when I was in Los Angeles. I went to Little Tokyo this past weekend to meet up with planner babe Rachel. Hi Rachel! Oh my goodness, I had such a great time hanging out in Los Angeles with you. Thank you so much for spending so much time with me and I just had a blast. I hung out with Rachel, who's another planner babe in the community. I'm gonna link her Instagram down below. Go check her out. She's awesome. She has such an amazing planner. It's super, super functional. I got to peruse through her planner this past weekend and I was so impressed, so inspired. Absolutely amazing, Rachel. Thank you so much for sharing your amazing planner with me. But yeah, we got to hang out. We got to hang out in little Tokyo and I bought a bunch of goodies. Of As always, I spent way too much money in Los Angeles and little Tokyo. And I'm gonna share everything that I picked up with you all. First things first, Rachel was so, so sweet. She gifted me this amazing bookmark. This is the big bookmark from the latest Be Happy box, the Valentine's Be Happy box with the dogs. And this bookmark was the one thing that I really, really, really wanted out of that box. I was so tempted to buy the box just for this bookmark. And Rachel, being such an absolute sweetheart, actually gave Gave me this freaking bookmark and that just made my entire year so thank you so much Rachel it means so much to me that you gave this to me and you're gonna see it in my planner for like the next 12 years or so okay let me set this aside and let's get through all the goodies I have quite a bit of things with me here on the side and I'm going to unwrap everything with you all and just like ooh and ah over all the cute things that I got and I'm gonna share with you how I'm gonna use them. Let's start off with these things that I have here on the side. So actually, um, I went to Hobby Lobby. Let's start off with the Hobby Lobby stuff. I went to Hobby Lobby. We do have Hobby Lobby here in San Diego, but I stopped to buy the Hobby Lobby in Los Angeles on my way to um, my boyfriend's sister's house with whom I spent the night with. These are super functional. I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, the only reason I went to Hobby Lobby in LA was because I actually just had the time. Like on Saturday, I had the time to stop by. I just hadn't found the time to go to Hobby Lobby here in San Diego. And so I was up there and I was like, figured it might as well um, go there and pick these up. These are storage cases for scrapbook paper. Let me take off this. Um, wrapping. I have my trash can here ready to go. So these are just really classic functional storage um, holders. It seems like it has like a little slip-in um, catch here and it's really really roomy. I use these to store like my seasonal stuff. Like I right now I have like one really flimsy scrapbook paper holder that stores my fall stuff and my Christmas stuff. And I want to separate them into two um like distinct cases. Like like I want this one to be like all my fall stuff, like fall, Halloween, anything that's like fall related is gonna go in here, and then this one is gonna be for Christmas. So I picked up two of these. We actually only had two of these in stock, otherwise I would have picked up another one of these. But because they didn't have um, more than two in stock, I picked up this one. This one's slightly different. This is a three-piece set with pockets. So we have a blue, a purple, and a red holder. And these are really, really interesting. Um, these don't seem like they can store as much as these like big clear ones. So I think what I'm gonna use these for are is like for more like singular holidays. Like I could use this one for Valentine's Day. Um, the pockets here are interesting in the front. I'm not sure how I'll use those. 
but i'll use these for holidays or like occasions that i don't need a lot of room like i feel like these would be perfect for fall and christmas because i tend to have a lot of um scrapbook paper and stickers for fall and christmas so i think these are a good size for those seasons and holidays um and then these are smaller so i can i can see myself doing like a valentine's day maybe this could be like uh fourth of july or summer and then this could be i don't know like day of the dead or something i don't know we'll see how i'm gonna use these but i really needed some more storage options for my scrapbook paper because right now it's kind of a mess and i want to organize it more okay since we started off with hobby lobby let's just go ahead and keep on doing the hobby lobby um, purchases all of the paper studio was 40 percent off at hobby lobby and so i picked up a bunch of stickers i'm really excited for these i got this one this is like a glitter fruit um, sticker sheet so cute i got this one this one is like a nautical theme a marine theme like sea life theme i'm really excited about this one i can't wait to do like a nautical theme spread for summer of course i had to get this one these are sweet treats ice cream cupcakes macarons Ugh, just so cute and i love when the stickers have a little bit of glitter on them i also love this artwork i really want to do um like dessert themed spreads i have so many like dessert scrapbook paper and stickers and i'm really and i really want to like make a couple of cute dessert themed spreads of course i had to get this one i actually um have the sticker sheet already and i've used up quite a bit of it but if there's one type of sticker that i love the most it's food stickers something about food stickers just really gets me going i love them um i think it's because i have a meal planner right now that i'm really trying to keep up with and decorate and i love decorating it with cute little food stickers i got this one um oh and this one also has like a nice foil on it this one's super cute it's cactus and succulents and it has a little bit of a glitter overlay on some of it it's very cute has a nice foil um effect to some of these i love the ones that are in jars super super cute so i got that this one is adorable this is like a cute little um like bugs and flowers and garden sticker sheet i think this is going to be perfect for spring i'm already envisioning like a cute little garden spread so i got that one this one is a happy birthday sticker sheet it's a larger sheet and we have presents balloons cupcakes cakes and i'm going to be using this one for my birthday so um i'm already planning my birthday spread this one is a daisy sticker sheet and i wanted to use these for like a memory keeping spread um to commemorate like um adopting daisy my new pug she's been with us for about five months now and so i wanted um to use these for a daisy spread because her name is daisy i had to get these these are b stickers and they're nice and holographic amazing i love these i'm really excited about these you know how i feel about bees I did my PhD thanks to these little creatures right here and I learned so much from them and I'm still working with a lot of honeybee genetics projects so I had to get these for work. I'm also thinking of doing like a Winnie the Pooh spread and I wanted some bee stickers. And then this right here is a perfect sticker sheet for summer. I love it so much. It's so cute. This is going to be so perfect for like um, a week where I have like a beach weekend planned. It's going to be amazing. And then of course this one is for summer as well. I'm going to be doing, maybe I'll plan like an aquarium trip. I'll like go visit an aquarium, maybe the Monterey Aquarium, maybe some other aquarium. And then I'll make like the whole weekly spread be like an aquarium theme. Like these fish are so cute and they have glitter on a lot of them. I'm so excited for these stickers like hobby lobby has some amazing stickers and i have plans for like every single one of these stickers so i'm excited let's put those away okay i got two last things at hobby lobby um i got these because you were on clearance these are just little keychains but i love collecting little keychains like this for my planner because i like putting cute little like planner charms on them and these were just so cute i like this one especially i like anything that has like these little pom-pom balls on them i like kind of just clipping them onto my planner zip folios or my planner cases and yeah i just like decorating all my planners 
planner totes and such so i got these okay that was it from hobby lobby let's go with the stuff that i got at um i think it's called the tokyo market like the tokyo market i'll pop the name up on the screen but this is a market that is in little tokyo it's in the japanese plaza this store has a good amount of stationary stuff but i wouldn't say like that most of their product is stationary stuff i would say most of it is like home goods and then there's a lot of decorative things there's a lot of um plushies a lot of uh like anime figurines but they have a few sections for stationery and they have really really cute pencils and pencil cases i got this pencil case it's adorable let me pull it out right here very very cute but let's pull this oh look at this i've been kind of wanting a new pencil case because I, um, one of the pens, one of my pens broke in the pencil case that I'm using right now and it got ink all over it and it's not too bad, but I kind of wanted to replace it. Um, and so this has been something that's been on my wish list for a while. I love that it has like the mesh pocket up here. It has like, um, pen loops on this little flap here and room to put stuff down here. Um, yeah, it's super, super cute and I had to get it. Okay, and then I got three pens from that store. I got two of these like multicolor pens and the right fine. They're a decent pen, but the reason I got them was because they're super, super cute. I love like collecting some of these like cuter, more stylized pens because once they run dry, once the ink runs dry and I'm finished with them, I like to just collect these like super cute pens in a little like mug that I have in my little crafting corner. These are just so cute and so fun. So whenever I see a really like cute, interesting pen, I pick it up. I really liked these multicolor pens. So I picked up two, a little pink pig pen and a little green dinosaur pen. And then I also got this guy here. This is an orange and this is a pen as well. I love these pens. They write really, really well. Um, and the cute little orange at the top was just so adorable and again the same reason I like to collect these pens um, and once I finish you know using them up and the ink runs out I just store them in my little pen cemetery that just lives on my desk but yeah I got these three pens Oh, and I also got this right here as well. This is a mechanical pencil. Super, super, super cute. I love the little pink jelly bear at the top. And, and this is a mechanical pencil, so I can keep on using this. I can just keep on refilling this um, once the lead runs out. So I got four pens at that little store. Okay, and then these washi tapes, these are actually from a random cafe. Like I went to a cafe that was down the street to get my traditional like matcha blueberry latte. I love that thing. We actually had some like cute little stationery on the counter. We actually were selling quite a bit of things like in the store itself. They had all kinds of things, books, mugs, candles, magnets, and they had a little bit of stationary stuff as well. And I found these two washi tapes, super, super cute. It says made by Chanamon. This is the Moody Fruities washi tape. And then we have the Sushi Time washi tape. I don't know why, there's something about like food stickers, food washi that I just find so, so cute. And it's perfect for my meal planner. So I picked up these two washi. I also grabbed this. This was actually from Barnes and Nobles. I picked it up on my way home. It's a Valentine sticker book. Um, super, super cute. I love like all the food stickers in here, the pizza stickers. These were just adorable. I really liked these like honey bear stickers and I also really liked um, these donut stickers and these sweetheart stickers. Super, super cute. Um, this is such a cute little Valentine's Day sticker book and oh, I love these like sweet treat stickers. Um, I grabbed this from Barnes and Nobles. This is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to do more Valentine's Day spreads um, and share them with you all. Okay, everything else that I have here is from the Kino Kuniya bookstore in Little Tokyo. If you're around the LA area, I highly, highly, highly recommend that bookstore. It's like a Japanese bookstore slash Japanese stationery store, but they also sell a lot of other things, lots of trinkets, lots of knickknacks, lots of functional things. And of course they sell tons of books. They sell tarot and oracle cards. They just sell absolutely everything. And of course they have an amazing stationery section. 
because Japanese culture just is so so celebratory of like um, school supplies and stationery supplies so I got a ton a ton a ton of goodies let me see if I can zoom in maybe I should zoom in okay so the first thing that I got this is not a stationery item but this is an enamel pin it's a little um, hedgehog in a mushroom and i love mushrooms so much i saw this and it just i just had to have it let me pull it out here look how cute that is it's amazing this feels super super high quality oh my gosh that was a little bit hard but i have managed to release the pin super super cute i cannot wait to pin this to my jacket or my sweater Ugh it is adorable look at that amazing okay i got this this is like a little staple set um i have a little stapler that i use quite a bit okay i had to go get my scissors um this thing is amazing <laughs> it's so cute it's just like a little staple holder and i really really wanted this because honestly um i have like a little staple pack just like this but i don't have like a little like something to put it in and the cardboard box is, has been like absolutely falling apart and it's spilling staples everywhere and when i saw this it, i was just like oh that's so perfect to put your staples in so that way like the staple box um, preserves its integrity it's not getting like abused like jostling around with all other supplies and so i just had to get this okay next thing is this this is an acrylic block and i wanted to get this for stamping um, these acrylic blocks are used for stamping you put it under your page and then you just stamp on it and these really do help um give you a nice clean stamp and i've been meaning to pick one up for forever so i picked one up and it's just such a nice size so compact and this is going to be amazing for stamping i got one washi tape at that store um and this is like of course a food themed washi okay there we go oh it's so cute it's like strawberries and apples and i just love like food themed washi and i think this one is really cute and simple it's gonna be perfect for my meal planner so um yeah i'm gonna have a lot of fun with that one okay and then i also got my tombow um glue tape adhesive i just realized i got the removable one uh-oh I didn't even realize that they made like removable adhesives. I just wanted the regular one. Oh well, we'll see. And honestly, I just got this because, um, I mean, usually I get just the refills because I already have like that piece that um, you don't have to buy over and over. But honestly, it's been kind of getting uh, a little bit abused. It's just, it's not working as well as it used to because I think it's just so old now. And so I just wanted to just buy a new one and um, just get a fresh one. So now we just have this um, removable Tombow adhesive. We'll see how it is. I've never tried this, so it'll be interesting to try that out. Okay, and then I got one clean color dot marker. This is in the color denim, and I actually used to have this color, but then my pug Daisy um, chewed it up completely, and I lost it. And so um, that store sells the clean color dot markers um individually and so i picked it up just because again my pug <laughs> destroyed my last one pull that out so there it is clean color dot marker okay i got two of these paintable stamps i love these things um i've already have two and these are ones that i've been eyeing for a while these are absolutely amazing they're like self-contained stamps so they come with the ink already wetting the stamp this one is a to-do list amazing and this one is kind of like a little memo it has a cute little like design on the edge and it says date where with whom and memo let me pull this out and honestly the whole like gag of this paintable stamp is that um they're supposed to be like uh paintable like you're supposed to color them in but honestly i don't even think that they need to be colored i think it's just cool to have these stamps as they are like just plain black ink stamps here let me try that again <laughs> let me give you a nice clean stamp so let's do this one first very very cute and then let's do this one 
Okay, there we go. Now well, that is a stamp. Look how amazing these are. These are absolutely perfect. I love them. Ugh, I'm so happy with this. I also ended up getting a pack of pens. I was absolutely not um, in the market to get pens. I wasn't even thinking about getting these pens. I didn't even realize these pens existed. These are the Uni Emmet pens, ever fine pens. Um, and I have five colors and they have a 0.4 um, millimeter tip. Wow, they even come with like a nifty little like standing case. What the heck? These are so interesting. Packaging is a little excessive, if I do say so myself. But the reason I picked these up was because um, me and Rachel were trying out different pens in the store, and she tried out these, and she picked up um, a five pack for herself. And I think she got the colors that were more like in the pinks and the burgundies. But um, I tried them out because I saw that she really liked them, and they do write really, really nicely. And so I was really inspired, and I picked up a pack as well and I, I went for the more like muted jewel tones oh my gosh I'm so excited for these okay and then the rest of the stuff is stickers except for this right here this is a super super cute keychain charm and again I got this for um to put on my planner let me open this up here oh this thing is so so cute i have a soft spot in my heart for anything that's like a cow related milk carton related there's something about milk cartons and cows that i really really like i think it's a taurus in me but this is so cute it's such a nice acrylic keychain it's adorable um and i'm gonna put this on my planner i actually also got um the sticker <laughs> i had to get the sticker so I got the sticker. It's so so cute. And then and then the artist that does these stickers um, is Kiwi Hen, and you can follow them on all social media. But this thing is so so cute. Um, let's go with all the single stickers first before I get into the packs. Um, so all of these stickers are from Kiwi Hen. I got this one. Okay, I pulled out all the stickers um, from the packaging, but I got uh five of these kiwi hen stickers they are so cute and i think the whole thing with the kiwi hen is this corgi like the corgi is like the star of the brand i think but i got this one this one is the espresso rainbow mountain corgi can it's so cute it's holographic i love it this one is i think a collab between kiwi hen and honey and butter but it's the corgi in a little macaron with um i think little butter slices adorable and we have this one this is the corgi in the little tiger suit on the cover of the frosted flakes cereal um can so cute and then i had to get this one this is the corgi in the little tiger ball and sticker and it's holographic it's so cute i love it and then the last two things i got from this haul is this this is a nakoni original design epoxy sticker pack this is the pack of i think um 12 Stick, epoxy stickers so they're like sort of raised they're a little bit 3d they're not like way too thick but they are definitely thicker than a normal sticker these are the designs um that you get but but yeah it was just a cute little um epoxy sticker pack of this little sheep i love sheep i think they're super super cute and so i really wanted to get this one and then the last thing that I got was a sticker book. This is a Japanese sticker book. I think these are Sanrio characters because Hello Kitty is there and then this little, um, I forget what this thing is called. Honestly, the only Sanrio character I really like is Hello Kitty and Gudetama actually. Oh, and I like this guy right here too, this little guy. I don't know what the name of it is though. But um, this pack really called to me. We have Hello Kitty. I really like how a lot of these stickers have like a glitter overlay on them. I don't know if you can really tell, but they have this beautiful glitter on them. And yeah, it's super, super cute. So we have Hello Kitty. Um, oh, I think this character is called My Melody. It's a cute character. Um, I'm not mad at it. It's not my favorite, but I think it's super cute. So we have My Melody. We have Karomi. I'm actually not a huge fan of this. I'll use the stickers, but um, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it like a Karomi sticker pack. So we have Karomi. We have the Cinnamon Roll. This thing is cute too. Again, it's not my absolute favorite, but they're cute. I would, I would definitely use these stickers. Um, and then we have Pacheco. Pacheco. This one's cute too. Pacheco. 
And then we have little twin stars. Very cute. I just love like the kawaii aesthetic. Um, then we have this guy, Pom Pom Pom. I don't know what this guy's name is. Pom Pom Purin. Very cute. I like how it's food related. I really like this character right here. It is so cute and with the balloons, it's adorable. And then we have Mugol Dreamy. Very cute. So yeah, these characters are just adorable. And this is a really good sticker pack. I'm so happy I got it. And that is it. That is the entire haul. I got so many goodies. I'm going to be so, so happy playing with all these goodies for the coming months. But yeah, let me know what was your favorite thing out of this haul. I would love to know. And thanks again for spending so much time with me today. Um, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.